Today, I'm going to be playing Minecraft RTX, the new beta from the NVIDIA graphics card series. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card of a 20 series RTX, you are eligible for the beta. And you can find this via Xbox Insider app. Today for the demo, I'm going to be playing on Crystal Palace RTX, a free template made on the Marketplace store for RTX cards. For this tech demonstration, I'm going to be playing on creative mode, just to give you more scenery and objects alike with the ray tracing capabilities. As you can see, I have spawned in to the underside of a boat. And at the top corner, you can see we're running at a crisp 66 frames per second at 1440p. The ray tracing ability is casting these god rays in between seamlessly. Look at that perfection. As I head towards the castle, you can see that moving away from the sun creates this sort of ominous glow and the ray tracing abilities and the sun just peeking out gorgeously. Now there is some impact to performance when rendering large objects like this. The settings have been turned down for the demonstration. To activate more settings to bring up the graphic fidelities, go to advanced video. And we can turn our ray tracing render distance from 8 chunks to 12 chunks. Going further though will impact performance and your frames. As you can see now, we can see quite clearly much more range and depth of field than we could before. There's something special I'd like to show you in the windmill. Going into the windmill, there is no light source but the sun. Taking the light sources away, like this torch, will slowly fade out the light, creating total darkness in the area. Adding items such as sea lanterns create a ominous glow that just works perfectly than the previous edition. These sea lanterns give off the appropriate light and reflections. Putting up another sea lantern will create more light in the space provided. Also, the light is different. Stepping further into the windmill, we'll find ominous more light sources various places reflecting perfect, perfect light and saturation. Let's venture up, shall we? Opening light sources will allow light to flow through, such as me taking this top off the tower here will allow light to pour through ever so seamlessly and look as the properties of light reflect the individual pixels on a block. Venturing out of this space, you'll see the lovely world ahead of you. The next step on our Minecraft RTX tour 
is just to take a look at the water and exactly what they've done. Panning down to the water that drops off this castle, you can see that they have created the water to be clear and no longer blue anymore. And you can see all the way through and the reflection of detail of the properties behind me and to the side. This appropriate reflection is amazing with the new water quality physics they have implemented into this game. Taking a look, you can see the light source and the sun. I'll actually take away the HUD here to just view the magnificence of this game. As I take it away, you can see the sun's reflection on the water's surface. Previously, not there. But also other reflections, such as the boat, provides a perfect cast shadow with the sun. And the shadow will continue to be larger as the sun falls down on the other side. Other perfect cast shadows from the mountain range can be viewed here and here. Look as you see the shadows here reflecting perfectly into the water. Other properties have been changed as well. Let's go look at some interior footage of the castle. The castle has been created very magnificently. And look at the light reflecting right down here onto the floor. Perfect and seamless. As you can see, they're using a sea lantern to create that kind of glow effect, which cascades into the light we see. As we tear apart these glass panes, you will see the light below changing. The more we tear apart, the more the light goes away as you've seen right there. And finally, the light has been removed. And if we want to create our own light reflections and light source, we can do this by simply placing other glass blocks of different colors. In this example, I'm going to be using the green block. Placing the green here will reflect a green property onto the floor below. As you can see, the green light source is reflected here, also appropriate to the sun's level. As the sun moves, this will change in time. You can see we can make multiple light sources with the sea lantern. As you can see, I'm currently holding the glass block, which is showing appropriate reflection of the sun going through the block and green is cascaded down. Simply removing the light however and there will be no more properties shown. Only when the sun is visible you're going to see the reflection of the green glass block on the floor. Now I'd like to show you my favorite part of the new Minecraft RTX series. Digging through the castle, I'll bring you to my next favorite part. The new diamond blocks and gold and other shiny property blocks have been updated appropriately. As you can see now, the diamond has reflective properties and reflects everything in the room. However, you are not reflected quite yet. Maybe that'll become in time. However, this is a beta and we should expect these kinds of things. The gold block also shows a deep reflection, looking beautifully and reflecting all the pieces around it. Iron, however, has also seen this kind of upgrade, 
and has now became more reflective of reflective properties. Another light source demonstration is peeling back this with the sea lantern will reflect the light appropriately and closing it will allow the light to dissipate. This is Minecraft RTX and it's beautiful. Now, nighttime has set upon us. It's time to take a look at Minecraft at night. And look exactly what they've done in the RTX mode of night to really sell the picture away. As you can see, the moon is still reflected and showing those properties. As nighttime falls, we'll be looking at exactly the RTX capabilities at nighttime. As you can see, the ominous glow from glowstone lamps here, reflecting light proportionately. Let's take another trip back to the castle to see the nighttime glow of the castle. As you can see, ominous light pouring through the windows of the castle and reflecting right above the rocks. I'll remove the HUD so you can see more of what I'm talking about. The reflections reflect right on the surfaces of the cobblestone blocks providing perfect balance. As you can see, the wood panels are also reflected with the glowstone. Moving to other glowstone sources, as you can see, the light is proportionally reflected upon all surfaces, creating a lovely, lovely cast of light. Same goes for this surface as well. As you can see, the light sources are reflected right on top of the blocks here and the blocks here, reflecting perfect light qualities and ray tracing abilities. It appears the spider string has fallen, but look at this. It has given us a 3D modeling, something not something that was not possible before. <clears throat> Here in the Minecraft RTX, as we see the light reflect perfectly right onto the surface and onto this creeper. Whenever the creeper is pushed into the shadows and he will cast his own shadow, he will be taken by the shadows. As you can see, he is now in the shadow and now lit in proportionally when he arises out of the shadow. Let's go ahead and make some light sources at night. <clears throat> the light is perfectly shined to illuminate everything that a light normally would with the ray tracing abilities. Putting a light down here will reflect perfectly onto this mountain range. Looking at the moon in the boat, we can see the reflections ever so perfectly reflecting one another, showing us perfect ray tracing abilities. As the moon sets and the sun rises, we'll start to see another dynamic change in the ray tracing capabilities. As the light from the sun rises, you will see more shading abilities take place. As you see, Final note of this chapter is I'd like to you to take a look at the lights being bled through the trees with god rays. As you can see the holes produce rays of light coming through, through the sun. 
This is perfect. The blinding, blistering light of the sun reflects so perfectly. And appropriate shadows are casted. This has been a Minecraft ASMR RTX tutorial. If you'd like to see more of this, please leave a like and comments in the description below. And as always, please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and other funny commentary. It's been a pleasure. I hope you have a great day. Bye.